We're back here on the Sports Mix on Talk Radio WRNR and TV 10. We're now joined by Chris Glenn, the blueprint, professional boxer, local Martinsburg guy as well. Chris, how are you today? I'm feeling awesome. Um, Appreciate y'all for having me. It's good to have you. Appreciate having you on. So just reading your bio, uh, you've been boxing since the age of 13. Um, and it's good to have you on as well. You have a fight coming up here in Martinsburg as well on November 2nd, so I guess we'll just start with promoting that, and then we'll get into your story a little bit. Okay. So uh, what can people d- look forward to about your fight and, and just talk about your career so far and uh, as a professional, you're 5 and Um, This will be my first headline um, here back at home. I haven't fought back at home since, I believe, 2017. Um, I was amateur still then, too. Um, so this is actually my first professional fight here back at home. Uh, main event, um, we were trying to get a belt fight, but um, we couldn't get that title fight in line. But, you know, um, we're going to take a nice little fight and then uh, hopefully, you know, come back here in the future and do a little title fight. Um, as far as, like, my career, I have a state title. Um, I forget. I think it was 2015, right before I graduated, or the year that I graduated, that I had the state title in silver gloves. And uh, I have about 60 amateur fights. And uh, the record, it's kind of hard remembering because it was so many fights. But I think you were like 50 and 10. Yeah, uh, so you weren't sure if I was reading that right. Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. Like yes, sir. So. so what can you tell us about who you're facing on November 2nd and what you know, what you know about him? I'm um, facing a guy named uh, Jason Webb, I believe. He's from Arkansas. He's mainly an MMA fighter. So, you know, being an MMA fighter, you know, they're tough. They're tough guys. So um, I'm expecting a tough competitive fight, but he doesn't belong in there with me, so we're going to get him out of there. <laughs> you mentioned it's your first fight here back home yes. in Martinsburg. Uh, how special of a feeling is that? Has it really sunk in now that you get to have your first ever professional matchup and it's right here in your backyard to allow friends and family to come see you? Oh, absolutely. Um, it's a blessing. Um, I'm, I'm very, very excited. It has set in, but I'm trying to just stay focused. You know, um, fighting at home is awesome, but it's also a lot of pressure. You know, it's a pressure to perform. It's a pressure to sell tickets. It's a pressure to, to win most, you know, foremost. So, um, but I'm, I'm definitely excited. I feel like I'm built for it, and uh, I'm, just, I'm just ready to go, honestly. What kind of got you into boxing, and how'd you get started? Um, so my father. My father was in the Navy, and uh, he boxed in the Navy. He was on the um, – the Navy boxing team. At first, you know, we're, we're in Martinsburg, so it's a football town. So I used to play football a lot when I was younger, uh, basketball. Um, funny story, I was just doing an interview last week. I didn't get to make the um, middle school basketball team, uh, North Middle School. You know, I was a Blue Devil. I didn't get to make that team, so I was trying to find something else to do. And I remember my dad used to box, and I used to always watch uh, amateur boxing specifically on YouTube all the time. So I was just trying to find something else to do. And I asked my dad if I could box. Of course, him being in the sport, he knew, you know, how, how hard it was. So he asked me if I really wanted to do it. I told him yes. And I remember we went on vacation. And then when we came back, took me to the boxing gym. Um, the first boxing gym I actually went to was Square Circle in uh, Inwood. And um, went there and, you know, the rest was just history. Uh, how would you describe your style as a boxer? And is there any, like, particular uh, boxers that you try to, you know, emulate or have taken some things from over the years? Um, a little bit of everybody. I guess I have my own style. I would say I'm a boxer puncher, so I'm really, really good, you know, defensively, but uh, I pack a punch also. If I have to compare my style to anybody, so I guess I can say maybe like a, a Javante maybe, Javante Tank Davis, everybody knows him. Um, and I try to take a little bit from everybody, like all the greats, you know, uh, whether it's Floyd Mayweather, uh, whether it's um, a shorter fighter like Mike Tyson. So I try to take, you know, bits and pieces from all the fighters and put it into my own style. Looking here, uh, you guys are also looking for some sponsors for Team Blueprint as yes, well. Sir. Just tell us a little bit about the uh, team and if anybody's interested, how they can reach out and become a sponsor. Um, you could either reach out to me. Um, I don't know if y'all can put my social media up on there, maybe. No, or, this is your camera here. If you, uh, this, yeah, this, 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 this oh, whole this one, thing, okay, this okay, okay. Here, yeah. yeah. So y'all can reach out, you know, through social media or. Um, Y'all can um I don't have my my um, manager's number memorized by heart. Am I allowed to? Looks like here uh yeah. three oh four four eight two two three oh two. 
I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. So y'all, y- y'all, honestly, that's my number. Y'all can just reach out to me directly if you want to, and I can put you on the right direction to, you know, my media team that handles all that. But uh, typically with the sponsor packages, you know, uh, we promote y'all's brand, you know, on the outfit, um, social media post. Uh, we might be able to do hostings, you know. It, it just depends, you know. Um, we're pretty easy to, you know, come up with a deal with. We'll make sure to share all the stuff that you sent us uh, to our Facebook as well. Appreciate so, that. Mm-hmm. Appreciate uh, we'll that. get it out there, and then yes, that sir. will be a little bit easier for people mm-hmm. uh, if they're interested. But um, just uh, so far, you're five and zero. Six. Or, I'm sorry. Six I mean, now you go. You get done. <laughs> yeah, six and zero. But uh, what have you learned? I guess throughout your time as a professional, what have been some of the challenges? What have been some of the differences from mm-hmm. amateur to professional? Uh, the gloves, the glove sizes, you know, amateur, um, we use 10 ounce gloves and we got headgear. Uh, professional is eight ounce gloves, no headgear. So, and it's a little bit more physical. Amateur is more, um, they don't allow you to like, I mean, it's still not wrestling and professional, but it's, they, they allow you to get away with a lot more stuff compared to amateur. So, just the physicality, um, the smaller gloves, um, I guess you could just say that aspect. You know, in the, the profile you gave us, you mentioned a lot about faith and family. Yes, sir. And the, just tell, tell us about that aspect of your life and how that kind of ties into your, your boxing career. Um, I'm very, uh, I guess you could say, family-oriented. Um, I'm not really that type of person that, like, try to go out a lot or anything like that. Um, I like just staying low-key um, with my my kids, my mom, my dad, you know, pretty much all the people that support me unconditionally. You know, I try to just, you know, stay out the way. I don't try to, you know, get into too many things. But um, I feel like it plays a big factor. Um, I have a very, very great support system. Um, so, yeah, I guess you can say it like that. Your nickname, uh, The Blueprint. Yes, sir. Where, where'd that come to be or where'd that come from? Oh, man. So, uh, there was this football show back in the day called The Game. And um, I forget exactly what season, but it was one of the seasons where um, – Durwin, which I think he was like the main character. He was the quarterback. He was competing with another quarterback, and his nickname was The Blueprint, and I kind of liked it, so I just kind of went with it. And I, I figured like it was unique. You're the uh, second boxer we've had on uh, the show from the area. Mm-hmm. So how much have you seen the sport grow in the area, and how much do you hope that your event and some of these other boxers that are coming up from Martinsburg can help grow uh, boxing in in the city because, like you said, it's become or Martinsburg's always been you know a football yes, town. Sir. So, how do how do you f- envision boxing growing, and how do you think maybe this event could help other people that maybe can't play football or, or mm-hmm. don't make the team in basketball like mm-hmm. you or whatever the case may be, maybe give boxing a try. Um, so I think the one fight he had was Bam, uh, yeah, close Bam. friend of mine, a uh, great guy. Um, as far as like the growth in boxing. I feel like this fight coming up is uh, Martinsburg's chance to really come out and show support. And uh, we have to show these promoters and these investors that there's a reason to bring boxing here. Because if the fans and the supporters don't come out and support it, then um, just like anything else, they're not going to want to come back and, you know, invest in the city. Um, As far as the growth, uh, we've had a lot of great fighters that come out the area, but um, we've had to go to other areas to show our talents because, you know, those promoters didn't want to, you know, come back here and invest. You know, we have like Perry Ball, uh, Ballard. Um, that's a good friend of mine too. Um, a great a great fighter coming from just the state of West Virginia in, in general. Um, he's, paved a, uh, he's paved the way for a lot of things. Uh, uh, Sandman, uh, Keegan uh, Grove uh, was a tremendous amateur. Uh, I think he has like two national championships. And this is one of the guys that uh, – um, paved the way also when I first started boxing he was kind of you know one of the front runners and then you know we have Bam coming up so honestly as far as like the sport coming here I guess it all depends on the city coming in supporting it because we have a lot of great athletes a lot of great athletes in all different types of sports whether it's football basketball soccer baseball um, so those same athletes could put their talents into boxing we just had to have you know um i guess a gym more gyms and you know more support in that area you mentioned your two kids yes, uh sir. are they old enough yet to kind of know well what dad does and you know when they get to you you started at a pretty young age 13 mm-hmm. you said but when they get to, to around that age do you think that have they taken any sort of you know if they're old enough yet to mm-hmm. to they uh take any interest in it themselves or uh do you see them getting involved at all yeah. Um, so I have a daughter, 
She definitely doesn't want to box. <laughs> I'll be playing with her all the time. I'll be like, I'm going to get you in the box. She's like, no, 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 daddy. You know, girls don't box. They do. But she, she's she's a girly girl. Um, so for her, absolutely not. Um, she understands to a, a point, like, what's going on. But she just, she doesn't understand, like, how dangerous it is yet. But she understands what's going on. She just sees me winning, so she's happy. Uh, my son, he's three, you know, turning four soon. Uh, I always say if he wants to do it, I'll support it. Anything he wants to do, he doesn't have to be boxing. So anything he wants to do, I'll support it. Him too, he doesn't really know exactly what's going on. He just sees daddy's winning. He understands boxing, but he does, they, they don't really understand the full concept of how dangerous it is yet. Mm. But um, I'll support my kids, whatever they want to do. It doesn't matter what they want to do. I'll support them. We're joined by Chris Glenn, local professional boxer. He has a event coming up Saturday, November 2nd with Valid Boxing Promotions here in Martinsburg. Uh, the event on November 2nd, doors open at 6.30 p.m. First bout is at 7 p.m. The event will take place at the Berkeley 2000 Recreation Center here in Martinsburg. You can visit uh, eventbrite.com and search for Mayhem in Martinsburg to buy your tickets. Use promo code CGLEN with two N's to purchase your tickets and save 10% off. Before we wrap things up, uh, what kind of, I guess, is your ultimate goal here in your career, Chris? Um, I'm going to be a household name. Um, I'm obviously, you know, I'm going to take it all the way. I want to be a world champion. And uh, I want to be the first... Uh, I guess you could say male, because we have Christy Martin, which was the first world champion to come out of the state of West Virginia. But I want to be like that first, you know, male world champion, um, that first superstar, you know, to come out of the state and just, uh, you know, uh, show 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 that there's, you know, more in Martinsburg, you know, not just football, basketball, you know, although we love those sports, you know, I support my Bulldogs, you know, I'm a Bulldog, but, you know, we, we have boxing too, so. Hey, Chris, anything else you want to promote or anything else about uh, November 2nd that you want to say? Um, just, you know, I hope everybody, you know, will come out, support. Like I said, if y'all want big time boxing to keep coming back to the state and uh, mainly Martinsburg, y'all got to come out and support. So, you know, these uh, promoters, you know, they, they, they see that it's, it's worth coming out. Um, other than that, I appreciate everybody that supports me and I appreciate y'all for having me on. And Thank you, Chris. And uh, if you have any other matches in the future that you want to promote or want to come on again we, we'd like to have you again absolutely thank appreciate y'all thank, thank you. you good luck with everything that's chris Klen, professional boxer from martinsburg west virginia on november 2nd he'll have a match right here in martinsburg so looking forward to that but this will do it for this segment of the sports mix on the other side of this break we'll talk shepherd rams football as well as west virginia this segment brought to you by Orsini's Home Store, not just appliance store any longer. Visit them at 360 Hack Wilson Way or online at orsinis.com. <laughs> 